in front of it. It's the yellow one. There's a bit of black on the on the bottom. It's like a pretend sun. Couldn't have said it better myself, buddy. In honor of today's solar eclipse, this is video from 2002 when Islanders went up to the center of the universe in Saanich to catch a glimpse of a partial solar eclipse. The telescopes were fitted with special filters for the partial eclipse, which blocked about 33% of the sun. Now, there's just something about an eclipse that seems to connect people. And for tonight's Island Rewind, we're going back to February of 1979. That's when a solar eclipse had a path of totality that was 300 kilometers wide. And the perfect center of that path was in Brandon, Manitoba. This was the report that night on CBC. Hundreds of small groups, families, friends, neighbors, all gathered to watch the eclipse today using a variety of viewing devices, special glasses, welders, lenses, cameras, and telescopes. Groups of amateur astronomers, many of them from the United States, were greatly relieved when they awoke this morning to find that the weather forecast had changed. Everyone had over an hour to watch the moon slowly move between the sun and the earth. Many schools, heeding the warnings of eye doctors, kept students in their classrooms to watch the show on television. Who would rather have been outside? Me, me, me. Many parents allowed their children to stay home so they could see the eclipse outside. For some, it was lonely. For others, a family affair. Winnipeg became quite dark even before totality. The streetlights came on and motorists turned on their headlights. Despite the warnings of experts, people who had no eye protection couldn't resist taking a peek now and then. And then totality, the people could look safely without eye protection. What do you think of that, ma'am? It's beautiful. It is beautiful, really beautiful, exciting. What do you think of the sight, ma'am? Oh, it's wonderful. It's really exciting. What do you think, ma'am? It's just incredible. It's incredible. Though many people stayed indoors because of the warnings of eye doctors, those who went outside seemed to agree it was the show of a lifetime. Island Rewind is brought to you by Arbutus RV. Whatever your adventure, six island locations to serve you.